Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel on the discussion about MOSFET amplifiers. Today we are discussing about two stage amplifier circuit utilizing n channel enhancement MOSFET. As you can see here in our schematic, we have moved beyond single transistor designed to explore the power of two stage configuration. In this specific circuit, employs two MOSFETs labeled as M1 and M2, and we will meticulously analyze its amplification characteristics. We will break down the calculation step by step and uh, always verify our theoretical findings with the spy stimulation. Here is the closer look at our circuit. We have VDD is equal to plus 15 volt and uh, VSS is equal to minus 15 volt and input resistance Ri can be considered as 500 ohm and uh, the resistor R1 and R2 which is equal to 1 mega ohm and, uh, and the drain resistor of the MOSFET 1 that is RD1 is equal to 2 kilo ohm. Similarly, source resistance of the MOSFET 1 RS1 is equal to 2 kilo ohm and uh, the source resistors of the MOSFET 2 RS2 okay which is equal to 4 kilo ohm and uh, we are considering the load resistor RL as 6 kilo ohm and we are considering the MOSFET parameter for M1 the threshold voltage VTH will be equal to 1 volt and uh, the transconductance KN1 is equal to 3 milliamps per voltage square and uh, for the MOSFET M2 threshold voltage VTH is equal to 1 volt and the transconductance KN1 is equal to 2 milliamps per voltage square. Here input signal V in is AC coupled with the, the capacitor C1 while output voltage V out is, a, is AC coupled to the load RL via capacitor C2. We also have a bypass capacitor CS1 which is parallel with the RS1. This is the common technique to enhance the voltage gain as we will see in later. The our power supply is symmetrically plus 15 volt as a VDD and uh, minus 15 volt as a VSS. The resistor value R1 and R2 also balanced as shown here. Our primary goal for this video is to calculate overall gain of this two stage amplifier circuit. That is the ratio of that is the voltage gain is equal to AV is equal to V out divided by V in. Just like in our previous amplifier analysis, we will approach this into two phases. DC analysis to determine the operating point of the MOSFET followed by the AC analysis is to calculate the gain. But in this case, we have to analyze the DC analysis in two stages. The stage 1 for the MOSFET 1 and uh, stage 2 for the MOSFET 2. Let us begin with the DC analysis. Remember that under DC condition, the capacitor behaves like a open circuit. This simplifies your circuit significantly. For the MOSFET, to function as an amplifier, we will initially assume they are operating in saturation region. To ensure saturation region, 
we also satisfy the following conditions of the MOSFET which is VGS is greater than or equal to VTH that means the gate to source voltage must be greater than or equal to the threshold voltage of the MOSFET and the second condition will be the drain to source voltage VDS must be greater than or equal to gate to source voltage VGS minus the threshold voltage. Here is our DC equivalent circuit. Notice the input and the output are now disconnected due to the open circuit of the capacitor. We use capital letters for DC current and the voltage. The first stage involving the, the MOSFET M1 is classically common source amplifier. The second stage with the MOSFET M2 is a source follower and it is also known as common drain amplifier. The fundamental property of the MOSFET is that the gate current is essentially zero so that the current IG1 will consider as zero and uh, similarly the gate current IG2 will consider as zero. This means that the drain current and the source current of both MOSFET are equal to each other. That means ID1 is equal to IS1 and uh, similarly ID2 is equal to IS2. Let us focus on first stage. We can determine the DC gate voltage of M1 that is the VG1 using voltage division because of the zero gate current. The resistor R1 and R2 form a voltage divider connected between VDD and VSS. So that the VG1 is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VDD minus VSS plus VSS. Plugging the value that is R1 is equal to R2 is equal to 1 mega and uh, VSS is equal to minus 15 volt and uh, VDD is equal to plus 15 volt. We will get 10 to the power of 6 divided by 10 to the power of 6 plus 10 to the power of 6 into 15 minus of minus 15 minus 15 which is equal to 0 volt. So the DC gate voltage of MOSFET M1 VG1 is equal to 0 volt. Now applying the Kirchhoff voltage law the KVL around the input loop of the first stage of MOSFET M1 that is VG1 is equal to VGS1 plus RS1 into IS1 plus VSS. Since IS1 equal to ID1 and assuming that this MOSFET are operating in saturation region, the ID1 is equal to KN1, the transconductance of the MOSFET M1 into VGS1 minus VTH, the whole square. If you substitute the value into the equation 1, for example, if we consider this as equation 1, if we substitute this value, the ID1 into this equation 1, we will get the result of 0 equal to VGS 1 plus the RS1 we have considered 2 kilo ohm which is equal to 2000 into transconductance of the MOSFET M1 we have considered KN1 is equal to 3 milli amps per voltage square so that which is 2000 into 
zero point zero zero three into VGS one minus the threshold voltage of MOSFET M one will be one volt to the whole square minus fifteen. And uh, finally, we will get the equation. The fifteen is equal to the VGS one plus six into VGS one minus one the whole square. By solving this quadratic equation for VGS one yields to two possible solution. And this gives us the two value that is VGS one is equal to two point four four six five volt or VGS one is equal to minus zero point six one three volt. Since VGS must be greater than threshold voltage that is one volt of the MOSFET to be on. This is the valid solution, so that we can consider the VGS one will be two point four four six five volt. Now we can calculate the drain current I D one. As we know in the saturation region, the drain current I D one is equal to K N one, the transconductance of the MOSFET M one. Into VGS one minus VTH one the whole square. When we substitute this, we'll get which is equal to zero point zero zero three amps per voltage square into two point four four six five minus one volt the whole square. And uh, The finally, when we simplify this, we'll get the ID one is equal to six point two seven seven milli amps. To verify our saturation assumption for M one, we need to check another condition, which is VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus VTH. If we apply the KVL rule on the output terminal of the MOSFET M one. We can write it as VDD equal to ID one into RD one plus VDS one plus IS one into RS one plus VSS. When we simplify this, we will get the drain to source voltage because we need to find the drain to source voltage. So that VDS one is equal to VDD minus VSS minus because yes ID is equal to IS because gate current is zero so that ID is equal to IS so we can consider ID one into RD one plus RS one and we know that the resistor R T one and R S one is equal to two kilo ohm. Okay, when we sub, if we substitute this value into our equation, we will get V D S one is equal to fifteen volt. That is V D D minus of minus fifteen volt. That is V S S into thirty D one value. Six is equal to zero point zero zero six two seven seven. Amps into two kilo. That is two thousand ohm plus two thousand ohm. So that VDS one is equal to thirty volt minus zero point zero zero six two seven seven amp into four thousand ohm, which is equal to four point. Eight nine two volt. Now let's check the saturation condition. As per the second equation, the VDS 
is greater than or equal to VGS1 minus VTH. As per calculation, we got the VDSS 4.892 volt, which is greater than 2.4465 volt. Because we know that we have calculated already the VGS1 gate to source voltage of the MOSFET Y, the MOSFET M1 will be 2.4465 volt and the threshold voltage is 1 volt. So 4.892 volt greater than or equal to 1.4465 volt. So our condition is satisfied. So our assumption that the M1 is in saturation reason and it is correct. Here is the quick summary of the DC operating point of the MOSFET amplifier first stage which is VGS1 is equal to 2.4465 volt, ID1 is equal to 6.277 milliamps and IDS is equal to 4.892 volt. Hope we are able to understand how to obtain the DC operating point and uh, how to confirm the saturation reason and uh, we will continue the second state DC analysis in next video. We will publish it soon. If you have any question or comments about this example, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best answer for them. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and share it with others who might find it helpful. Your support helps us reach a wider audience with these interesting topics. Thank you for the watching and I will see you in next video. Thank you and it to be continuing in the next video.